Hello everyone, and welcome to Decimate Drive. The best way to describe this is, well, remember Maximum Overdrive? That Stephen King story where these people find themselves trapped in a building by a, a legion of suddenly autonomous cars wanting nothing more than to run them down? Well, somebody went and made a game out of that, and I am really intrigued by the concept. I remember when I was younger really laughing at uh, the evil car's cheat for Saints Row 2, but I always did think that it would make for a pretty good horror game. Not only giving us the terror of being pursued by something which outnumbers us, which is faster than us, and which is as cold and unfeeling as machined steel, but also doing so in a way that focuses on atmosphere, taking place in a mysteriously deserted city during a light snow. Obviously there's not much we're going to be able to do to fight them, I presume, so we're going to have to use our wits to make sure we stay where they can't follow, or at least go beyond their limits. The store page also says that the types of cars that we encounter matter. They'll all handle differently, and so we'll have to factor in that when deciding how we're going to run from them, which is a really cool idea. Uh, scour. Survive long enough to find out how you ended up in a killer car infested city with, it seems, more game modes coming soon. That is so cool. And here we are. Standing in the deep snow of this alley beneath the glow of a lamp in front of this door. And a soundtrack worthy of Silent Hill. This is so eerie. Oh, I love this already. Look, our hands are being held up, clenched as if, uh, as if we're freezing already. Dang night shifts. Let's head home. Okay, so we're not just finding ourselves here inexplicably, we're walking home from work. But not a soul in sight. Ah, oh, the graphics in this are so good to look at. The weather effects, we can see our breath. Right, I'm parked in the parking lot. Nearly there. Is that our truck? Because I don't think we're going to be getting that out. It looks like it's snowed in by a good few inches. Just knowing its premise, I'm making a note of all these vehicles just hiding in the shadows over there. So it'd almost be comfy if I didn't have some inkling of what's coming. But as it stands, it's almost like a nightmare. Hmm. Isn't the hotel closed this time of year? Wait, so is it actually strange that you can see a car out front? <sighs> Please. What just happened? Was I kidnapped and thrown into the trunk? Oh, it's so dark. And we are concussed, and from the look of it, so was our kidnapper. Where's Frank? Wait, do I know who this is supposed to be? Okay, so we know who this Frank is? That is surprising. And it seems like oh, we really are just off in the middle of nowhere. Scour. 
Why is there a fridge just half buried in the middle of the road? There doesn't seem to be anything inside. What was that? Oh, it's a shadow from a branch. Okay, I... This atmosphere is really creeping me out. I'll give it that. Oh, and we can look over our shoulders with Q and E. I need to find help or a payphone or something. I need to get as far away from Frank as possible. Live music every Saturday. The dead end. Notice the public. Bus service at this stop is permanently discontinued. We apologize for any inconvenience. Permanently discontinued? Why? Oh, a church. A church with just the payphone I was looking for. Harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. See, stuff like this, it makes me think that people do know about this, and we're just the last to get the memo. Maybe we can take shelter here? Maybe people already did. Wait. What happened? Or maybe we're just having a freak out. Can we really trust that any of this is real? Oh. This is bad. Am I losing it? I need to find help right now. That's... that's the water. There's a cargo ship just off in the darkness. A, a lighthouse only occasionally illuminating it. That is so creepy. Oh, what a way to remind us that we have no idea what's sitting in the dark, that these ambient lights are our lifeline. Because out here, we don't even have moonlight to guide us. Oh, this whole environment just feels so hostile just to begin with. The store page talks about how atmospheric this is meant to be. Hello, vehicle. And it is certainly accomplishing that task. This is fantastic. As I walk forward, I just keep thinking that it's going to reveal something. <laughs> See, this is a game that is really taking advantage of the fact that you know coming in what the premise is. It is constantly teasing us with sights of cars that almost seem like they're hiding and watching. Of course, the player character doesn't know that, but it acknowledges that the player does. Oh wow, that water comes straight up to the gates. Please teleport me someplace safe. Is that our next objective down there? Sounds like someone is here. Uh, uh... Okay, you're moving. You're moving. You're... It looks like you're... Stuck behind a fence. Okay, you're not somebody we want to deal with. What is this? Batteries. That should help me see more. For now, at least. Who's Seymour? I'm just waiting for the moment you're gonna crash through that chain link gate. Like, I feel like I need to cling to walls, things they won't be able to break down. Can we sprint it all? Doesn't seem so. I can see. Oh, wow. I'm actually leaving tracks in the snow. I imagine they will as well. This place is also closed indefinitely. Oh god. <laughs> the anxiety in this opening is actually insane. It's a very big open area. Looks like storage units. 
Wait. Something is wrong with that payphone. But it's taunting us with one more down this way. We're definitely being led, and... See, I'm not sure if this is a we're the last to get the memo situation, or if this is more of, of a we're trapped in our own head scenario. All I know is the sight of a van with no wheels is the most welcome thing I've seen all night. Wait, what's over this way? I wonder to what extent we'll be able to explore. Horror, baby! Oh, oh lord. Uh, what's the deal with you? I, I really don't want to walk down this way because I saw that, I saw that jeep here earlier. But we're being given the chance to explore. Like, it, I have to imagine it's giving us this direction for a reason, right? Where did it go? This means that it pulled ahead of us and... Oh god, do they have the ability to hunt? Oh wait... Scour... It's written there as well, and... Actually, this thing is now making me realize... So, in Maximum Overdrive... It was all machines, it's just that it was only really the cars that had the ability to go after people. But if everything is being affected by whatever's going on here... All I'm thinking about right now is that cargo ship that's out there. Masterful is the horror plot that can show you what you should be scared of and have you not recognized it as such at the time. Pile up storage. Yeah, you're really laying it on thick here, but it's appropriate, I'll give you that. Until I see someone, these phones are my best bet. Oh, and now is when we gain the ability to run and jump. Uh, it's just, I'm thinking back to the Saints Row 2 Evil Cars cheat, and I'm just, I'm seeing all of these as places where I can potentially take shelter for just a moment. Uh, all these alleys between the storage units. And there's that word for the third time, scour. I'm assuming, look, that one moving vehicle that we've seen had its headlights on, but will they always? It would be very easy for a car to hide in the dark. Okay, I've made a loop around this entire place. That looks like another payphone over there. Uh, maybe I should just be following the breadcrumbs as it gives them to me. Yep, broken. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's just follow our own treads. Sorry, footsteps. Oh, if, if vehicles leave tire tracks, then maybe following those can show us where enemies might be hidden. Perhaps I'm thinking about the premise more than I'm supposed to be at this point, but how could I not? Okay, so yeah, oh boy, God! Okay, 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 behind this, behind this, behind this, behind this, behind this. Okay, uh, uh, loop around, loop around, loop around. And as all car collisions do, this came screaming at me out of the darkness! Oh! I am not sure how I survived that. Oh! That's a full-on RV! Dodge out! I don't quite understand why I couldn't get around that or why I'm alive. Oh, you've got, oh, you've got horror baby strapped to the front like a hood ornament. Okay, go, 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 go. That probably should have killed me. All right, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And you're broken too. How much 
damage on you is permanent. Can we actually wreck you? It looks like your hood pops up. And your radio is playing. You've got... You've got hunting music. I'm safe as long as I'm here, but... I've got to cross over to wherever it is I'm going. Can I leap on top of you? I can! But you'll easily shake me off. And even if I were on top of you, that still won't spare me from the RV. You don't seem to have any qualms about hitting each other at full speed. Where's the next payphone? They seem to make lights flicker. Maybe I can find them that way? Alright. The thing is... Yeah, we need to uh, exploit our relative dexterity compared to you. And it's when you're it's when you're stopped that we need to make our move. I don't see any lights flickering anywhere. This is actually getting my heart racing. It's so cool how there's Oh no, you don't use your headlights! It's so cool how this can be so terrifying in the moment. A collectible found, I don't even know what I found. And yet so calm in the next. There's that moment of the strike like a viper. And then the tension as you wait for the next one. Whoa! But you are smart enough to try and overshoot me. I think my sprint is out! Oh my god! Oh, they're just so appropriately huge and physics-y. I know, I know the truck is moving around for another swing at this point. These things have not served me well thus far. Okay. I definitely should not have survived that one hit. Gunshots. Maybe Frank hasn't been able to get out either. Maybe, maybe his own car quit on him. Oh no. You can't do this to me. No way. A display of tanks. We could not possibly have walked into a worse place. I doubt cars would do well on slippery ice, you said. Oh, we've got nothing to worry about then. Okay, but... They're likely not very fast, right? I mean, and they're probably very unwieldy too. Not very fast to turn around. Although, they can chase us in reverse. Oh my god, this game really... It knows that you know, and it's taking full advantage of that. Yep, just break. I see a regular old car sitting up on that platform. Oh, day 37, they still haven't realized I'm not a tank. To be honest, if you're gonna be the one that comes for me... I am fine with that compared to the alternative. Come on, try and run me down. I want you to. Come on, hit me. Hit me. There we go. Oh, you're... <laughs> oh, you're a classic car. There you go. Oh my god, it's a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm never gonna be expecting your friend. Run, 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 run. Oh, we can't make it through that gate. I can hear the phone ringing. This game is terrifying in all the right ways, you know that? It's not scripted horror, it's entirely mechanics-based, and I love it for that, because that's exactly what I was hoping for. Okay, move behind you to the thing. It's gonna break, it's gonna break, it's gonna break, it's gonna break! Christ! It actually gave me that horror movie moment. It's all in my head. It must be. It actually gave me that horror movie moment where the spinning blades are stopped inches from me. Alright, I, I want to explore this map, actually. But I don't know how far I'll be able to go. I'm not sure if I have limited stamina. I feel like I should conserve, but also, uh... It really gets the blood pumping. You know, running from cars and all. And get more batteries. It, it really only helps our ambient light. As far as I can tell, we don't have the ability to change it.
Am I to understand that there are still people trapped inside some of these cars as they go on their rampage? Alright, well, sorry, you're gonna have to experience a few more moments of turbulence! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no! You're actually surprisingly fast to turn around. That's what I thought. Come on. Come get me. Yep. We actually need to bait you for a bit, but all of our... Okay, this is something I kind of don't like. Most of our... Most of our running momentum is actually canceled out by jumping. I kind of wish we were able to leap forward. Or in this case, out of the way. Oh no, okay, I'm just starting to use that look behind mechanic because it was such a death trap in Outlast. And it makes things so much worse, let me tell you. Are you still after me? I saw that car parked between houses over there. What if we move behind them? It'll only buy us a second. Wow, it's the free candy van. You're not the one we need to worry about. Collectible found. What collectible? Oh my god, I did not... Uh, thank god there's not realistic destruction. Hit the pole, come on. Okay, back here. We need to weave in and out. It's the only way. Oh my god. A car without its headlights in the dark is like a panther pouncing. Only much worse. Oh my god, I did not expect this to be as scary as it is. No! Uh, I really wish we could just, like, get you to catch an engine fire or something. As it stands, there doesn't actually seem to be much damage to you. Sometimes I mistake the snow and the breeze for another one of you approaching. However, the engine noise is unmistakable. That's right, you catch yourself on those boxes. Oh, this is brilliant. I love this game. Yep. Yep. I'm exhausted. I can see a red light flashing down there. <laughs> to truly make you feel the open spaces through just mechanics. Is that live music? And help, maybe? Or just a car with its windows down and the radio on? Andrea. Poor girl. Lost her mother and then had to fight the same disease. I did visit her a couple of times after she left the hospital. Is this really the time for this? Understand I had no oh, I didn't get to read that. It wasn't enough for Frank. I still can't believe he did it. Shoving me in the trunk of his car and locking me in that basement. So you've been in captivity for a while. I know you will do the But that letter. Take care of Andrea, or else it read. Okay, well at least we know now you two did have a history. But it doesn't sound like whatever happened was your fault. Still, I can certainly empathize with you being exhausted. This is one of those few times where a, a horror protagonist feels... Oh no. <laughs> where a horror protagonist feels appropriately like they're doing all they can and it's not enough. I mean, all this running and jumping and all through snow, deep snow and soft snow. the dead end. Well, getting indoors certainly seems good. Why should we even answer it? Why not just shelter here? Kind of looks like there's blood in the snow. I can't tell if that's just meant to be shadow. Need to keep moving. Need to get out of here. Oh no. They're all in plain sight! 
Uh, but we had the advantage, as long as all these bollards are around. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! Oh look, you've got like lumber sticking out of your window, like uh, somebody loaded you improperly at the Home Depot. Okay, so we don't have nearly as many advantages here as I thought. Yep. I kind of don't know how I feel about being able to survive a hit like that, but I'm certainly glad we could. Okay, two here, two here, two here, two here. <laughs> Knowing that turning around will cost you time, but that you need to know which way they're coming from. Roadworks. Maybe I can trap one of the cars in there. Great idea. Uh, but which one? Answer. Whichever one presents us with the opportunity. That's which one. Whoa! How about you? How about you? How about you? How about you? Congratulations. You win the prize. We need to... We need to get enough of a lead to allow this to work. Come on, you. You seem to be actively avoiding it. You. No, 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 I don't want to be stuck inside it. I'm dead. Okay, so that's our plan. Uh, but maybe it would be better just to keep moving? I mean, look, they're clearly, they're actually smart enough to move around obstructions to an extent. Uh, the AI is actually doing some pretty brainy maneuvers here. I've got to be brainier. I've got to be brainier faster. They allow breaks for us, but certainly not solutions. You will always hear them coming, but only when it's almost too late. Okay. I want to trap you in here, because otherwise you'll be hounding me the whole way. But also, I'm just kind of giving you an opportunity to catch up after I've already gotten a decent lead. I can hear that other one coming this way! You're, you're trapping you in here might not be the smartest move. It's just kind of getting me killed, really. You know, the red cross on the side of you... Makes you seem like an ambulance, but you're shaped more like an armored truck. Yeah, they are actually- they're smart enough. You need more of a lead. Maybe I can find more of these things elsewhere? Yeah, I was way- I can already hear the payphone. I was way better off just leaving. I see you over there. Come on. Oh, you managed to get yourself stuck? Good. We've got to go all the way over there. Clinging to the walls is going to be the best way to do this. Come on. Come get me. Oh, wow. That actually... Hmm. I'm amazed at how well these things are holding up. Right this way. Yep. Anytime you're stuck, it's time we can ring around the rosy. But you're surprisingly agile. Then again, I suppose when you are a car, it's second nature to move the way you do. You don't even have to think about it. You would never, you would never even think of needing a backup cam. You're bleeding all over the place. Yep. Come on, turn around and come after me. Any one of these snowbanks could also have the opposite effect of what I want, eh, causing you be launched over me. Go for a headshot instead of just running me over. No. We've been led in a complete loop. This is just playing with us at this point. But it seems like the other cars maybe don't know where we are. Haven't heard from them in a while. Not that I want to jinx it. That's right. Get smacked. <laughs> Those pieces of lumber hanging out of you make you a lot more dangerous, it means you're wider, have to miss us by less on one side. Simple circumstances of your existence 
make you that much harder. Okay, we need to like slalom you here. Yeah. The more time you spend turning is time you're not chasing directly after us. Friggin' Tahoes, they just don't die. I'm still just bleeding all over the place. And are those supposed to be more gunshots? Yes, three of them again. Buddy, what are you shooting at? Unless you got a 50 cal that can go straight through an engine block. See, I keep finding collectibles from exploring, but everything is so hectic, I feel like I don't even get to see what it is, like, I was picking up. Maybe I should be staying in the shadows in the back. I mean, how much attention am I drawing to myself? Do they always know where I am? They don't seem to. The gunshots were coming from this way. And I can see a flickering light over there, but normally everything in the area is flickering. And it's only now that I'm stopping to really pay attention to the fact that all of these are boarded up. Even the upstairs windows. It's like the people inside don't want anyone to know they're there. As long as we're near buildings, we're relatively safe. I mean, the more obstructions there are, the better things are for us. But at a certain point, we know we have to try and cross. It's that game about the terror being chased and knowing that sooner or later you're going to have to put yourself in that situation. You're gonna come after me? Now's the time. Look at me, all helpless out here. Uh, if somebody were to come barreling towards me, careening out of the dark, there'd be just so little I could do about it. But we gotta let them have their momentum. Look, there's a tall building right there. Chemical transport, cheapest in town. Oh no. Uh, if a chemical transport truck comes after me, I can't help but think of uh, the fate of that one guy in RoboCop. I hear it. on my left, but there is conspicuously another one right hereabouts in this alleyway. I can use that to hop the fence. That's good to know. Next one is down that alley, then we don't want to be running down there because it seems like a straight shot, but there's no cover. If we come from this way, there is, and we can jump over that fence. I feel like a little fish swimming from coral to coral trying to avoid the sharks. It's just I really enjoy horror games that are able to be scary because of their mechanics and the way they make you think. Seems we're in this situation. Oh no. Oh no! No, 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 no! <sighs> I realized at the last second I wasn't gonna make it and that this was my only hope. Okay, go, 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 go. Listen to it out there. Okay, we got this. We've actually got this. Come on. I'm gonna take you off the streets. Where is that? No, 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 no. Okay. 
I thought we were much nearer by to the break in the road. Come get me. Salam. Actually genius having this take place during the snow because not only is it much more atmospheric, but it also allows the terrain to be rocky, showcasing the physics as they move across it. Making us feel all the more helpless. Yep, I knew there was somebody out here that wasn't you! My god, this game is so unscriptedly horrifying. We're going that way. Oh, I've been going the complete wrong direction. There's no cover out here. Sometimes I feel like we have to stop and wait, but I, I think you guys got caught up on each other in the terrain. Giving us an opening. Yep. There's another one. At least three out here. And there you are. Okay, this way, this way, this way. That one might try and loop around the building. Please be the last thing. Nope! I hear you behind me. No, you don't. Once again, basketball saves a life. This was the wrong way to go about this. Ugh. Oh, the way the lighting just interacts with you, it's just you're so... You know, you'd think who could miss a big old truck, but you... you would be surprised. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's the last few seconds before you reach, before you reach cover that you feel the most like you're about to get smacked. Yep. Round, hope that there's nobody behind you. Oh my god, I am shaking all over. This is intense. For a trip you'll never forget. Oh, you're already after me. Whoa! Okay, so we are jumping right in, and apparently so is he. I want to cross this directly, but I don't think we'll make it. Then again, you're farther back. I don't think we have a choice. You're still stuck trying to turn around. We're just moving along the underside of this overpass. At least we're not on it. Jesus, I would I would have absolutely collapsed of exhaustion by now. But also, I mean, learn the lesson of maximum overdrive. You have to get indoors or climb on top of something high. I can see you moving out there. I'm gonna become a wear car before the night's over. Where are we? Oh, it's a police car. Huh, maybe, maybe he is here to serve and protect, even if it's accidentally. I have no idea where I'm going. Where are the nearest flickering lights? That's right, you stay on that side of the wall and I'll stay on mine. Oh my god! So this is a rough spot to be in. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. No, you can just you can just do a tailspin. Well, that makes you considerably more dangerous. What? He is trying to help me. He actually is. I thought that was just a rough coincidence. But I'll I'll take what help I can get. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm glad for it. Next payphone is over there. They are coming for me. I can see that they've already turned around. Right this way. You will oh, you'll avoid the thing. I can't just do it by line of sight. I'm trusting you to not be a threat right now. Thank you. Just keep you spinning in circles and allow you time to hit them. Yep. Oh my god, go, 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 scour. I can hear them behind me. Okay, this way. Uh, they're actually uh, well far behind now. Thank you, cop. Uh, oh, of course you want me to go back. And here you come to intercept. I 
was hoping I could get you to clip the corner there. Over the wall. That truck is still out here. When there's two of you, my options diminish considerably. I know, I can see it. I mean, you won't be able to, but I can just barely... Yep, there it is, poking out. You're a, a real, uh... You're a real hero, you know that? I mean, couldn't possibly hope to stand up against this thing. But you're doing it anyway. I wonder if it's being driven by a person, or if it, like, feels some sense of what it was supposed to be doing before whatever this is. Either way, this guy's gonna be looping around, and there's one of those things. Okay, I do not have nearly enough allies out here for what I need. Oh my god. I can just imagine there was a huge pile right behind me. It is just not wasting any time anymore. These payphones really are my only hope. And they seem to be getting fewer and farther between. Okay, uh, what now? I can't seem to jump on top of this. Alright, the name of the game here is going to be that the floor is lava. Every area has its own... it kind of has its own thing. The mechanics stay the same, but the area changes, and that means the gameplay is totally different. Come on, climb up. No, 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 no. Through here? Okay, we're safe-ish in this alley. Unless there's an electric scooter or something. Now this is a strange change of pace. I mean, I'm happy for it, but... That kind of makes me think that we're headed towards some kind of revelation. What did I do? Our light is starting to flicker. Why don't we just stay here? Forget the payphones. Where is it that we think we're going? That narrow alley across the street looks safe. And it's getting narrower. Oh no! No! Enough! You will regret this open now! It really happened. How long was I out for? That that was quite that was quite a way to change into a story segment. We we spent so long being afraid of open spaces and suddenly I was actually like panicking and, and my character was hyperventilating at the claustrophobia. Oh no, a junkyard. Police? No, I don't think so. Looks like that car is on fire. Lots of silhouettes that a working car could hide between, though. You got what you wanted in the end. Oh no, I got They're all... This is all physics! This is all physics! Okay. I was not used to that after all this time. Okay, uh, do not give him the chance to turn around. This cover will only count for so much, it'll only slow him down. Our ally is gone. Displayed like a trophy. Meant to taunt us, I guess. That actually shows some form of, like, intention. This is so cool. Because there is a story, but it's being told mostly by inference. And that inference is through the mechanics. Where'd you go? Okay, this way. I can hear you turning back around. 
When I hear your engine revving up, that's how I know you've spun around. Okay, didn't expect much from that. Oh, no, now's not our time for our vision to be doing this! That's right, you go that way. What is that smell? Is there some kind of gas leak? Maybe we can get you to crash into something, light a spark and explode? As long as you're like this, you can't really adjust to get me, but I don't really know where I'm Oh, right there. Yep, later, sucker. Oh, can we really not go in? All right, there's our objective. These barrels, we can't be near them. But perhaps neither would they like to slam into them? Even if you can't get me, you'll still try. Okay. Let's do this. I want to score a kill. You're playing the song of your people, eh? Oh! Okay, that didn't work the way I wanted. I feel like... I kind of wish you were a bit louder on approach. Nope. We get two hits, which means we are entirely twisted in the wind now. As long as you're stuck behind that thing, I'm good, right? We're only a moment, Bo! Oh my god. Alright, I'm thinking... Yep, you're carrying these things, actually. I'm thinking they probably won't explode, and yep, and you're just, uh, and that's just to keep us from camping in one place for too long, maybe? Oh my god, they're right behind me at all times. Go! Nope. Didn't expect it to. There's other places I can walk to. That's probably not going to be the case. Into the pillars. I, I have wasted so much of my life trying to, uh trying to make sure that you die. And if anything, it's more of a trap so far. They're not actually very easy to bullfight. We're stuck in the snow. You're actually smarter at avoiding my little tricks than one would think. Okay. To the tree. I heard you wreck over there. Come on, right this way. Yep. We also have to remember you can't stop on a dime. Or maybe you can. I mean, the fact that it is actually different depending on the car is a huge part of this. Oh no, there's that lighthouse again. I can hear an engine in the dark. Oh my god! I didn't even see what that was. We don't want to end up in the water. But in the dark here with the trees is our best bet. Oh my god. It's you again, the... Oh yeah, 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 you're carrying... You're, you're the gas truck. You're the gas barrels! Look at you staring me down head on. Oh no, you can actually, you can actually kind of trap me here. I think I can't stay. I think I can't stay. That stuff's not good for breathing. Maybe there isn't actually water. Maybe it's just reflections on the ice. I need to take these moments to see where you are and where I'm going. What was that? I thought I just heard something like sail overhead. Okay, maybe 
Make it, make it, make it to the trees. Make it to the trees. Make it to the trees. Oh, this, uh... Oh no, oh no, I'm so far from anything. It's surely turned around by now. Oh, there's the free candy van again. This way. There's another one. You're not the same one. That's right, you spin up over the pile, behind the dumpster, up onto the wall. Uh, but we can't climb over it, as would be smart. Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. Are you stuck there? I'll I'll just take advantage of this. Nope! That's the worst. This should help me see more. Ah, but at what cost? Like that's not that's the least of my problems is visibility. I mean the area around you at full battery is actually pretty wide. It helps somewhat. But this honestly feels like the nightmare of someone who was hit by a car at some point. That feeling that it's like an inevitable, unavoidable fate. And I can hear somebody has found its way towards me. Yep. I can't stop moving for very long. Oh, just sometimes you'll turn on your brights. Okay, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And now I notice that word again. Right this way. Thank you, sir. Around the corner. And up to the payphone. Please let this be it. Uh. Oh my god, it just does not give you a moment to breathe. I, I love how just every, every single element of this game is in service to its premise, and all of it creates such a complete whole. Uh... We're, we're safe up here for a moment. That's our only time to breathe. I just heard something! Excuse me, sir. Yeah, this train can stay right where it is. Thank you. Go on, floor is lava. Oh, we can't always jump up. Please, if you just had the ability to climb. Two of you. Yep, the lumber van is back. Just get it and head back, because I know it's not going to be you. No! Ow! Oh, come on, I couldn't jump up! Yeah, it does need to have slightly better jumping mechanics. I feel like I'm getting stuck on the thing I'm trying to climb onto. It's all about knowing when to make a run for it. You're active, actually! <laughs> but I figured that might work the way it did. Yep. Really use somebody else on my side right now. Yep. Of course, they could always hop these things and just hit me anyway. That could be a thing that happens. Whoa! They're just circling, dancing around me almost. While I move from space to space. Everything's against us in this area. Everything about this terrain is just bad. That is a very wide open area, and that music you're playing is somehow both horrifying and motivating. Go, 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 into here, through here. Even running through things without stopping forces them to swerve a bit. And that's always good for us. No. Two next. Huh? By staying close to walls, it means that their aim has to be exact. Which gives us more wiggle room. And wiggle is exactly what we need to do. That was pure luck. 
Come on. Oh, I can't climb up on here, really? Okay, we need to regroup. You're alive, and I know that, but your whole thing is that you lie in wait. You look like cover, and honestly, you might be cover. You guys knew I was going to make a break in that direction. Four. Four cars all after us. This way. Come on. Oh, I couldn't jump while I was on top of you. Yes, deliver me! Uh, thank you for being my greatest ally, you guys. <laughs> oh, that all just came together for me. Now I need to take the right moment. This way. Now or never. Now or never, now or never, now or never, now or never. Jesus, this game is intense. I can't. I'm so tired. You and me both. Well, it doesn't seem like the Ferris wheel has come to life. Although that's something that could always change, I suppose. Road closed. Yeah, it sure is, although it doesn't feel like it. This song. Andrea listened to it all the time. Uh, I don't know, I'm just taking a moment to, like, take it in. Falling snow, the sound of the payphone, the music echoing over these open spaces. And the first time I've gotten to relax in what feels like a long time. That's what I thought. I had to do it. I had to get out of that basement. What do you mean? I hear it. I hear something, but I can't run anymore. What is that sound? I can't run or jump. I haven't seen anything yet, but I am more helpless than ever, and this is a very wide space. I waited for Andrea to fall asleep. I blocked the door and grabbed the knife. Exposed her wrist. After that, I only remember Frank shooting through the basement door. up so that what we see in the red glow is the dead end. I can't stop now. Oh no. I was kind of happy that you had stopped. I thought we would be done soon. Not that I'm not enjoying this. I just don't know how much more of this I can take. I'm still just not sure what exactly it is that happened. Why did you do this? Oh! Okay. Weave through the cargo containers. Line ourselves up with where we're going. Right there. Right there! Through here. 
We kind of have the advantage up. Oh, there's the baby mobile again. Poor baby is really taking out a lot of frustrations on me. Maybe I'm not the best boss. I did toss them down a pit on uh, 13 hotels. Still, this seems like a bit of an overreaction. Yep. Or maybe an underreaction. over there. I'm assuming we have to be headed in this direction. Yep. 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 These cars are a lot more agile than I feel they rightfully should be. But I suppose there wouldn't be much of a game otherwise. Yep. You spin out and hit the walls. Is necessary. Yep. Things are going a little bit better for us, but, you know, these things are relative. I think we just gotta go for it. Go, 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 go! The thing is, they're super far away until the very moment that they're not. As I was saying... I thought I heard the noise down this way. I don't know that for a fact. Ow! Okay, so yeah, you were just like totally silent behind me. There is our next bet. Come on, go, 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 go. Yep. Thank you. Whoa! You're no longer our friend. That's regrettable. Although I'm probably grateful for the warmth. Yep. Well, at least you advertise your position. Oh, it's like they've corrupted you. Amazing how much they can make me feel for a car that I've seen a couple of times. Like, seriously, this thing has an arc in... And presumably we don't want to walk through your trail. Ah, oh, I hate how my biggest complaint with this game is how I can't have any, like, preserved momentum while jumping. Because leaping out of the way, you would think, would be a pretty big part of this game. Oh, I might have bitten off more than I could chew with this. Yep. Right back this way. Yep, over the hill, and this way. This way, oh no. Crashing might have actually been better for you because you've retained your direction. You don't even seem to really have to reverse out of things. Just one to the next then. Just one to the next, like a needle and thread. We don't want you to crash, we want you to have to turn around. And we want you to have some momentum when you go by us. Yep, that's right, work for it, go uphill. Yep. You are always right on our heels, all times. Yep. Okay, we can't sprint again. <laughs> We're exhausted again, and that's a relief. All that time in that basement. I had to do it. I had to get out of there, no matter what. So I was is the idea that I was supposed to take care of her and maybe I was forced to do so even against my will and somehow I felt at that point that killing her was my ticket out even if it meant dying myself that truck 
It trapped Frank in the tunnel. Why isn't it moving? Is it waiting for something? Am I making a choice here? Okay, well, obviously, I have to know what this is all about. Join us. He deserves it. Maybe it should be me. No blood on this, this truck. Yet. Approach the truck to get in. We're going after him. Oh, my. Join us. Baptisms, weddings, and funerals. about the hotel. The end. New game plus unlocked. Ah, uh, but that was Decimate Drive, and I absolutely loved that. It's fairly short and simple, but boy does it execute its premise to the maximum degree possible. This game feels fantastic to play, and as a horror game, it is absolutely pulse-pounding in a way that I don't know if I've really gotten from a game before. It is pure mechanics. The story is introduced through the mechanics, you get so many feelings through those mechanics, and it's just a constant roller coaster. And I love how the different enemies are never exposited to us, we simply take a look, and what those enemies are about is intuitive. It's almost like they have characterization in the way they look and the way they all behave differently. Now, I'm not quite sure what these blank menu options actually represent. If they're going to be a continuation to this story, or if there's going to be, like, uh, additional game modes and such. But either way, for the couple dollars I paid for it, I think this is a really cool experience. And whatever is planned for next, I'm really happy to see that there's going to be more. Okay, so I had a look, and according to Steam, it's just more difficult, which is absolutely fine, but uh, I guess that means I can end this here. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon, that link will be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one.